Okay, so let's take a look at questions 19 through 23 from the June 2016 New York State Chem Regents exam. Okay, so for question 19 here, we have a sample of water boiling as heat is added at a constant rate, which statement describes the potential energy and the average kinetic energy of the water molecules in this sample. All right, so we're dealing, of course, in words with a heating curve. The water is boiling, so of course it's going from a liquid to a gas, and when we have a phase change going on, you're at a plateau of the heating curve, and the reason being is this is temperature, this is time. Temperature is remaining constant, but of course if you remember the definition for temperature in chemistry, a measure of the kinetic energy right of the molecules or the atoms that make up the substance so of course we know that temperature is constant kinetic energy is constant it's potential energy that's increasing so once again this is a two for one question we have to answer two in order to get it right potential energy is increasing so knock out choices one and two and kinetic energy is constant, which means it remain the same, and there it is, choice three. So we're dealing with facts here, and of course, realizing that we have the definition for temperature that ties directly in with kinetic energy. All right, question 20. Entropy is the measure of the straight definition, isn't it? Right? We're talking disorder of a system. Just got to know it. That's entropy. 21. Which element has atoms that can bond with, to, um, bond with each other to form ring, chain, and network structures? There's only one element that has all of these features, of course, and that is carbon. That's why we dedicate an entire year in college to organic chemistry studying carbon and its compounds. That's a fact. 22. What is the number of electrons shared in a multiple carbon-carbon bond in one molecule of one pentine? So we're looking for numbers of electrons. Remember, each bond, which is drawn as a line, equals two electrons. So we got to remember that. We're dealing with pentine. Now, the prefix pent means the number of carbons. Y-N-E tells us we're dealing with a triple bond. So a triple bond would be three lines. If you forget, of course, you can go to the YNE ending here. Here's my triple bond. Each line represents two electrons. Two times three is six. So we're dealing with six. And finally, for question 23, butanol, butanone, and diethyl ether have different properties because the molecules of each compound differ in. Well, this, of course is a skill. AL ending means I'm dealing with an aldehyde, O-N-E. I'm dealing with a ketone and an ether. Now, the endings are different because these are types of functional groups, but I'm calling it a skill because you could use reference table R, which gives you the functional groups as a guide. Here's my aldehydes and my AL ending my ketones and my O-N-E, and of course my ether with the name ether. And what's different is how the oxygen's arranged on the molecule. So this was questions 19 through 23. Keep working hard. Study those definitions and facts. Practice those skills, and good luck.